Okay, let's check out market reaction to the price to the crisis today, and let's bring in CTV News Chief Financial Commentator Patty Lovett Reed. So, Patty, let's talk about investors and watching these markets very closely. They have been watching things very closely, and things have escalated to the downside. Uh, I mean, the volatility is not going to go away. There is great concern about what is going to happen next from an investor perspective. We're watching oil very closely. Oil topped $106 U.S. We haven't seen that going back to 2014. What I can tell you, Bev, is that the, I, the International Energy Agency are going to release strategic reserves there to the tune of about 60 million barrels. But when you think about uh, the Russian economy, they import just about everything. And what I mean by that, everything from um, the only thing they really produce, oil, and they do, 11.3 million barrels per day, some minerals, maybe vodka. But what I can say is that given the fact that the currency, the ruble, uh, has collapsed, the markets are closed, the central bank interest rate has hit 20%, put it all together and the purchasing power of Russians definitely compromised. And we're seeing the run on the banks right now. Okay, sorry, Patty. I just did, very quickly before we leave, you tell us about one of the world's biggest shipping companies that is not doing business with China anymore. Maersk uh, with Russia. Maersk with Russia. You're absolutely right sorry, about Russia. that. Yes. They have halted their. Yeah. That's okay. Um, they have halted everything that they are doing. Initially, they were going through being very careful about what they were, um, you know, transporting in terms of sanctions. Uh, they wanted prepayment. There are many companies in addition to this, and Maersk is the, you know, world's largest shipper by container size, uh, but also BP Shell. I mean, the list goes on and on. So sanctions being put into place, absolutely. Foreign companies that have made a lot of money doing business with Russia pulling out right now.